In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the abstract Photoshop action. And what we're going to be doing is turning this photo into this with just a couple of clicks. So from that to that with just a few clicks. All right, so first thing we want to do is open up a photo. So we're going to use this one. And you want to make sure that your background layer is set as a background layer. So if you open up your photo and it's not, um, just go to layer, new background from layer and it will set it as a background. Now, a couple important things you want to check to avoid uh, any errors popping up. Let's go to the image menu, go to mode. Make sure you're in RGB color mode and eight bits of channel. And you also want to make sure that um, you're working at a, with a good size photo. You don't want to work with anything, say, uh, under a thousand pixels. Uh, anything uh, under a thousand pixels high or wide, you're going to potentially start running into um, Areas with the action, so uh, around you know, oops, around this range here is good. Um, if you're working at something you know around 5,000 pixels, the action is going to take um, you know about double double the length, so it'll still work, but it'll just take a lot longer. All right. So next, you want to go into uh, your layer panel and just check uh, go to your panel options and just make sure that add copy to copied layers and groups is selected. Alright, so that's, uh, that's that, and there's only one step involved to get this action to work. We create a new layer, call it brush. And what we want to do is grab a brush, any color, and um, we want to brush over our photo where we want to apply the effect. So just give me a few seconds to do that. Now what I recommend with this action, what I found looks kind of cool, is just to leave um, you know, some of the edges of the photo not brush because that way the effect sort of cuts into our our photo and just creates more of an organic uh, look. So you don't need to be too precious with where you brush. I often find that leaving it a bit messy yeah, it creates a better look. So And I also recommend using a soft brush when brushing. Alright, so that's all you need to do. So then we need to light up our action. So if we go to the window menu, select actions, the action panel will pop up here. Uh, go to the top right hand corner of the actions panel, select load actions. And just select the abstract ATM file and it will appear here. Select it, and all we're going to do is click play. Uh, the action takes uh, anywhere between a minute and two minutes, depends on the size of your photo and uh, the complexity of the details in your photo. So um, just sit tight or go back on the net or whatever and come back to it and see what you got. I'll fast forward the video to uh, get to the result. Okay, so the action stopped, and this is what we have. All right, so let's go into the layer panel and take a look at uh, what we've got to work with. So one thing I'll tell you straight away is that I've kept every single element layered. So I'll scroll down here. You can see everything has its own layer. So you've got complete control over uh, the look of your design. So I'll just minimize these folders. And uh, we'll start from the top. So I've just kept the original brush layer um, on in case you want to delete everything and start again. Just keep that one um, around. Uh, this one here, you can just flick between the before and after as you're working away. All right. Um, this one below is just a simple adjustment layer you can use to affect the overall sort of saturation of your design. You can drag this one around. Um, you can also target individual colors. So I could target the reds, drag this around. Some crazy results. All right. Uh, Two layers below, these are both contrast layers, they work in slightly different ways, so adjust the opacity of these to um, affect the overall contrast of your design. Alright. Add sharpening. Uh, if I turn this one on and off, let me just zoom in a bit. Uh, you can see how that... Basically it's more or less a preview of uh, your finished product with some sharpening on it. So if you're moving elements around, 
um, I recommend just turning this off for the moment because if I move this layer to the side you can see that it overlays um, this embossing effect over your entire design so if say for example I remove these these um, lines in the background here it'll keep some of that residue around so leave that one on and off on or off it's up to you all right so this one here abstract this has all of our layers inside so let's just go down and talk about uh, what we can do here so the main overall glow if I turn this one on and off you can see it, it takes the colors of your photo and uh, creates some cool glow overlays it over everything so you can go inside here you've got this layer called change color you can just double click on this drag the hue slide around and you can you know mess around with different glows glow colors um, you can also select the main glow layer uh, and if you grab yourself a black brush uh, you can just erase brush into that mask oops, and remove some of that glow if you want so if you don't want around there you know that's up to you or you could select the folder and you can also brush into that mask as well all right reveal original cutout i've kept this layer around in case you want to remove any details you don't want say say for example i don't want that uh, that little blob of paint over his face and those couple of lines so what i'll do grab a white brush select the mask that layer and if i brush into this layer it just removes it just like that okay so if you get any weird bits and pieces over uh, your model's faces or whatever type of photo you're using just yeah use that layer there all right miss element splits is just some random bits and pieces you can mess around with so for example I'll move this one up you can see that one there so you could also you know duplicate these layers move them up keep duplicating so you've got a lot of flexibility there uh, abstract lines these are these white lines you can see hanging around the outside of your photo of where you've brushed uh, abstract lines too uh, this is the lines that sort of overlays on top of the area that we brushed so uh, this one's opacity set to 50, so I'll just turn this up to 100. You can see down his arm there. Um, you can see that effect there. Speed lines, um, I'll turn this up to 100 again. Uh, these are the ones that sort of, um, you can see those there. So you can move that around again, duplicate it. So, yeah, take some cool effects of that one. Dots, uh, if I turn this one on and off, the folder, you can see what those are. Uh, if you don't want the glow from them, you can just turn the glow off, so you're just left with the normal dots. Uh, if you want more of a glow, you can just duplicate this add glow layer. You can see that boost in the glow there. Alright. Uh, layer below glows, if I turn this one on and off, you can see what that's doing. Um, same thing again, if you want to increase the glows, just, you know, duplicate these layers. What I like to do with this folder is if I select the mask and I um, fill this black, just to hide it all, I can grab a white brush and sort of brush in more specifically where I want the glows to appear. Alright, and you can see um, a bit earlier when I was talking about that sharpen layer, see how it's left some... Um, those details down there, so if I turn this one off, you can see that it's gone. So just keep that in mind uh, when you're moving stuff around. Alright, so I'll just keep that all there. And another thing I like to do uh, with this folder is you can actually duplicate the entire folder. And, um, you know, move that around. Just go crazy with the effects, really. Alright, uh, paint splashes. This is these shapes here. Um, that are hanging around so you can go inside this folder uh, you can color these individually double click on this uh, adjustment layer you can drag this slider around yeah all right and it's the same for this one below control the have a look at that okay motion bars uh, if I turn this one on and off you can see there the um, those speed lines you can see, all those, all those 
strokes in the background there. So you can go inside here and they're all layered so you can duplicate them, rotate them, uh, do what you want. I've kept put this one in here so you can randomize the overall color of them. So if I double click I can just drag this slide around so you can get um, a preview of different color combinations. Or you can color them individually. I've got all these blue um, fill layers here so you can just you know tick these on and work your way down and double click on these and color them how you want. Turn these off. Okay, the base image extract, that's the um that is the area that we cut out from the brush. So where we brushed, uh, that's the main cutout area. So just keep that in mind. And you'll notice that when I turn this one off, uh, we've got this cool sort of vectorized version of that photo hidden underneath. So what you can do, uh, all I like to do with this is select this layer mask, grab yourself a black brush, and you can brush and reveal that layer underneath. Just like that. Alright, Miss Elements 2. So, this is just a bunch of um, layers again that you can mess around with. Alright, this one down the bottom, um, radial lines, you can tip this one on or off. Create these lines you can see here. Alright, and the layer below is the background colour, so you can just um, before, uh, sorry, on a um, graphic river preview, this image I used a dark blue. Um, so you can see that there. You can also turn off this layer to um, reveal the actual background photo, the original photo. Um, just keep in mind that the original photo was white, so that's why that's appearing white. Okay, and what I also like to check with this background layer is if you tick this one on gradient overlay it just has a cool overlay effect there so you can just double click on this and um, mess around with the opacity of that um, and change the blend modes I think overlay will do it better alright and so that that's all there is to it um, you really want to jump to these folders and experiment with, you know, duplicating layers, rotating them, because um, there's so many different looks you can get uh, from just experimenting. It's, yeah, it's good fun. So um, if you've got any troubles using the action, please contact me and I'll help you out. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks.